hello friends so welcome back to the next tutorial as always i'm going to be doing this throughout the tutorials i'm going to be making on the jquery ui make sure you have already the jquery files downloaded on your pc if not you can use this online cdn so you can be using it online not if you are connected to the internet only if you are connected to the internet that's when it will work for your website so or web page but it is compulsory for somebody to access your website or web page he or she is supposed to be connected to the internet so everything will be functioning in a good way but please make sure you type this the way it is or go to any site that has this cdn copy it paste it in your head ad section and make sure you put them in the right order the way they are so first is the css the next is the javascript and lastly you get the next is the jquery js and lastly you put the jquery ui the user interface as you can see in my project that's the way i organized them first is the css js and jquery ui so that's the order you have to put them in so in this short tutorial we are going to be creating these tabs as you can see these work on the web page it does not need to load the web page content you just need to switch between the tabs and everything will be smooth like butter so in case you're into this kind of tutorial please stick around and we do some coding i'm going to be showing you how you can create these refresh the page and we are having nothing so we are going to start from scratch and do everything now the reason why they were arranged like this is because i made this layout using bootstrap so it it enabled me to create some three column as you can see i'm having some dummy three column here covering three columns and the one i'm using is this one it's in the middle covering five columns and the one on the right hand side covering four columns so they have enabled me to center everything in the middle so to create tabs you have to create a div first so i'm going to comment this out end of parent end of parent tab div so this is the end and we are going to give this div an id of tab so that's the id we have given this div so everything that is going to be inside the div it's going to be placed in between these two opening and closing div with this id of tab next we are going to create an ordered list We are going to create this unordered list and inside the unordered list i'm going to put the list items href so we, they are, we are going to make them we are going to make them links tab one and then we close off the ank tag so this opening and closing ank tag so everything is going to be inside here i'm going to copy this the way it is paste it on the next line so there are going to be three tabs and i'm going to call this one tab 2 i'm going to make this tab 2 this one tab 3 and if you are to reload and see this this is what we are having tab 1 tab 2 tab 3 so below the unordered list we are going to create individual divs div and we are going to give this div id of tab 1 so you can name them the way you want but mine is going to be tab 1 and this tab 1 is going to be referring to this one so on the hyper reference i'm going to put hash tab 1 so whenever a person clicks on tab one will be referenced to this one 
so you'll be accessing this div with the id of tab one so we are saying hash tab one and here we can go ahead and put some h3 and say inside tab one and some paragraph welcome to tab one so this is the div which will be referenced to this one we are going to create another individual div <laughs> then we are going to create another div sorry <laughs> i'm sorry somebody was talking to me here then we are going to create another individual div this one is having we are going to name this one tab 2 we are going to create name this one tab 2 and this whenever the user clicks on this tab 2 will be referenced to this one now we put hash tab 2 so whenever a user clicks on tab 2 will be referenced to this div and i'm also going to give this one some h3 heading and i say inside inside tab 2 and also some dummy paragraph which is welcome to tab 2 as you can see now you're not getting lost so we are just referring to the unordered list we did using these individual div elements with the ids similar to the hyper references so we are referring to those divs let's create another individual div and we are going to give this an id of tab 3 that 3 so as always whenever the person clicks on this tab 3 will be referenced to this tab then we put hash tab 3 so we put these dummy texts i'm just going to copy this i'm not going to repeat myself i said tab 3 tab 3 welcome to tab 3 so when we refresh this this is what we shall be having so that's what we need to create these tabs let's go back to our editor now remember we wrapped them inside these parent div with the id of tab that's why here just to make the real sense to show where we are i made this comment to tell us that yeah we are still inside this parent div with the id of tab so that we can be able to target all these inside using the jquery function we are going to set then here under our document.ready i told you this one will tell the browser don't load any content before the document is ready so dollar sign open these brackets and we we target the tab id we gave to the parent div say hash tab then we pass a method to it we say tabs and semicolon so this is what you only need are <laughs> you seeing how jquery ui is simple this is what you only need to create your nice looking tabs See, we have reference to the parent div which is having that id of tab and we are passing a method to it using the jquery ui and see what happens on our web page are you seeing how cool it is you shall be having this nice looking tabs on your web page or website so if this tutorial was useful to you my friend please subscribe to the channel like the video share it on different social medias or stone code cipher i'm out but again i recommend you guys to either use the cdn when you are connected to the internet or go to this jquerryui.com forward slash theme roller and download the different types of themes you will find there so there are very many even you may get one which is nice looking better than mine 
for me i'm using ui lightness so it gives you this orange some orange background colors on every stuff you'll be doing the active tabs and some blue color on the inactive tabs so that's it guys i'll see you in the next tutorial when we are developing other items using jquery so these are just widgets for jquery ui peace